Whole wheat bagels are a healthier alternative than regular bagels. And this easy homemade recipe with sourdough starter makes the perfect soft and chewy bagels with a slight crunchy crust. Enjoy! Pour in a mixing bowl 335 grams or 1 and 3 8 cups of water. Add 65 grams or a quarter cup of malt syrup. Mix with a silicone spatula to dissolve well the malt syrup in the water. Add 125 grams or half a cup of sourdough starter and mix to incorporate all the ingredients. Add 75 grams or half a cup of vital wheat gluten. If you don't have vital wheat gluten, you can substitute it for bread flour. We use vital wheat gluten to have that characteristic chewiness and texture in the crumb of our bagels. Add 9 grams or 2 teaspoons of salt. I am using a pink Himalayan salt, but you can also use sea salt or kosher salt. Add 160 grams or 1 and a quarter cups of bread flour. Mix the flour with the dough whisk and finally add 240 grams or 1 and 2 third cups of whole wheat flour. Keep mixing with the dough whisk and then use your hands to mix the dough inside of the mixing bowl until there are no dry spots of flour remaining in the dough. Place the dough on your working table and knead it for about 20 minutes or until the dough is soft and elastic, like this one. The texture of the dough might be a little sticky due to the high percentage of whole wheat flour in it. Make a bowl with the dough and place it in a grease proofing container. Cover with a lid or a plastic wrap and let the dough proof for about 4 hours or until it doubles in size in a warm place. After 4 hours, place the dough on your working table. Extend the dough open to check the elasticity. The dough should extend without tearing apart. Make a ball of dough again and then weight the dough. Divide the dough in 8 equal pieces with the help of a kitchen scale. Then make balls of dough, making sure to stretch the dough one last time and add tension as you keep rolling the dough on your working table. Cover the balls of dough with a towel and let the dough rest for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, shape the bagels. Take a ball of dough and roll it on your working table. Stretch the dough to the size as you keep rolling it on your working table. Then. Grab the dough around your hand and roll it on the table. Place the bagels on a baking sheet that has been sprinkled with some semolina or cornmeal. Cover with a lid or a plastic wrap and let the dough proof for about two hours. After two hours, add to a pot of boiling water one tablespoon of baking soda. Stir the water to incorporate the baking soda well. Now add two or three bagels and let them cook for about 30 seconds per side. Then remove the bagels from the water and place them on a prepared baking sheet or a baking sheet with a cooling rack. Use a cooling rack if you plan to add boiling water to the baking sheet before you bake the bagels to get a crunchy crust. As soon as the bagels come out of the hot water, you can add any toppings you like, like this everything seasoning bagel that I am using on my bagels today. Place the bagels in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes or until they are golden brown. When your bagels are ready, take them out of the oven and let them cool off for at least 10 minutes. These bagels are very soft and delicious. They have a slightly crunchy crust and a very soft and chewy crumb. If you are like me and you can wait for them to cool off completely, you can go ahead and slice them open, toast the inside crumb and enjoy them with your favorite spread, in my case, plain cream cheese. I guarantee you will love this healthy bagel option for your morning breakfast. I hope you get to make this recipe. 
please like and share this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new video every week.